Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning from two math and our topic for today is vectors. So we are going to be discussing the position vector. In our previous lesson we looked at the column vectors and how we add, subtract and multiply with a scalar. So today we are going to learn about the concept of a position vector. It's important for us to learn this because it's, going, it's forming uh, a basis of most of the vector questions that we have in vector one. So a vector, uh, a position vector is the one whose origin begins from, whose uh, starting point is from the origin. For example, if you look at point B, it has a coordinate of 4, 7, point A is 2, 1. If we were to take the vector from point zero to B, then it, the, the vector would be written as OB and it would be four steps seven minus zero zero, which would give us four seven. So it means we are moving, you see, four steps, you see on the Cartesian plane, so four and then seven steps on the y axis as you can see. So our final answer becomes 4, 7. If you are to look at OA, it would be 2, 1, you subtract 0, 0, which is going to give us 2, 1. So our OA, as you can see, we are moving two steps on the x-axis and one step on the y-axis, and they are both positive. So that's how we get the position vectors of both B and A. And our OB is usually given uh, an uh, representation of B. We use a small letter B to represent this vector, this vector here. And then we use A, small a, to represent vector OA. So you notice and you see that a lot. Whenever you see this, it means it was formed from the position vector. So if you were to get for D, D is 9, 7, it means our OD is going to be 9 minus 0 and 7 minus 0, which becomes 9, 7. So this is going to be our small letter D. This is the vector. And then the same applies with OC. It's going to be 6, 2 from the origin. So our the vector will be referred to as C. So I want us now to use the same information to be able to determine other kind of vectors that are on the Cartesian plane using this information. This is what I mean. So you have been taught to plot the position of the point A, B, C, D, E and F relative to the point O. And point O is the initial point or the origin, point O, O. So we are going to plot. The good thing with this question, you have been given the direction. So you know you are moving from maybe point O to A, from B to D. So I want us to use the position vector information that we just learned to locate this uh, uh, point on this plane. It's a point. So we have OA, which is 3, 2. So we are going to move three steps on the x-axis and two steps on the y-axis, so our A is here. So it's going to be OA. If it were to look at the, at, the, at the vector, our line would move from O to A, this man, and it will be, our arrow will be going upwards. And then if you look at OB, we have five, we're moving five steps on the x-axis. So you can see if we move five steps here, here, and it's positive, and then two steps on the y-axis, but negative. So two steps would be here, five and here. So this is where our B will be in reference to the origin. So this is what we have. You can join this using a line. And it's O, remember this is O, O, B. So next question is AC. AC, you have been told, is uh, from point A. So our starting point is point A, but we do not know our final point, although we have been given the coordinates. So let's get that. So it's negative three. So three steps on the negatives on the x-axis. So one, two, three. So this is three steps. And then two steps on the y-axis positive. So one, two. So this is where your C is supposed to be. If you compare, we are moving from A to C. Be very keen. We are here. A to C. 
So if we were to look at point C, that is OC, in terms of O, then our OC would be, so you can see we are moving zero steps on the y-axis, so zero and four steps, or the x-axis, sorry, so it will be zero. And then we are moving how many steps on the y-axis? So one, two, three, four steps. And it is positive. So our coordinates will be zero, four. I hope you've seen that. But you see, we use the information that we already have about A. Next, we have B, D. So meaning we need our B. So our B, D, so we are moving two steps on the x-axis on the opposite side so one two steps and then two steps on the y-axis downwards so one two so this is where our d is from b so we are moving from b to d so this is the this is the vector but if we were to look at d now with reference to o to the to the with reference to the origin then our od would be it's going to be that is how many steps so it's going to be one two three steps on the x-axis on the positive side and one one two three four steps on the negative sides downwards hope you can see what's happening here so we are using our initial point as D, our final point as D, and then after that, we are able to get now our OD because we have been told to get the position with relative to, and that's why we have joined this line from the origin. And then we have CE. Now that we have C, C is our starting point. For us to get E, we are moving four points on the four units on the x-axis, and it's on the negative side. So one, two three, four, and then one, one uh, step or one uh, unit on the y-axis on the negative side, so one. So this is where our E is. So if we were to draw this vector, it would look like this, and we are moving from C to E. So we can also get C in reference to O, meaning we are just going to extend this line to the origin. So our O, E will be, so we are moving how many steps on the x-axis? So it is going to be one, one, two, three, four steps on the x-axis. So it's minus four because it's on the opposite side. And then how many steps on the on the y-axis? One, two, three, three steps on the y-axis, and it's positive because it's going upward. So that will be our vector in reference to O. All right. Next we have DF. Now that we have D as our starting point, we can get point F. How is our df? We are moving one step on the x-axis on the right direction. So one step, this is one step. And then four steps on the y-axis, positive. So one, two, three, four. So our f is going to be here. So this is our df. You can join this using the line. It's like that. But now we want f in reference to O. It has already been joined for you on the Cartesian. So this is OF. So our OF is going to be, we are moving how many steps on the x-axis? One, two, three, four steps on the x-axis. How many steps on the y-axis? Zero. So our OF is four, zero. So I hope you've seen how we used uh, whatever we have existing to get our uh, position vectors. So that's how you work that out and you're able to get the position vectors of A, B, C, D, E, and F relative to O. So you can get more revision questions like this on the app and notes on the same. So go and check out and practice. Getting the position vectors is very key, especially in working out vector questions. So see you in the next lesson.